really don't know how I'm going to go on without my son. Family, friends, and a community coming together tonight, paying tribute to a father who was killed by just senseless gun violence. Richard Littlejohn was an active member of the Hill District community, and his loss is impacting dozens of people, including young children. And Littlejohn's mother saying she is now on a mission. And Channel 11 News reporter Amy Hudak joins us live in the studio. And Amy, not only is she seeking justice for her son, I understand she is calling for change. She is calling for change, and Richard Littlejohn Jr. was murdered right in front of his children while leaving a gender reveal party. We talked to his wife and one of the young kids he leaves behind as they fight for justice. I have to get my baby buried. He's 32 years old, so of course I didn't expect to bury him. Richard Littlejohn's mother stepped away from planning his funeral to be with the community he made better. Yeah, he touched a lot of lives. Just meeting one, if you met him, you could see how radiant he was, what he stood for. Little John was a beloved youth football coach in the Hill District, molding the lives of young men, many facing extreme adversity. It's more than football to us. It's basically a family. He loved the kids. Dozens of youth football players got together near the fields where they practiced with their coaches and families. As they said a prayer, they released balloons in Little John's honor. I really didn't know how many people that Rich touched. Little John was gunned down while driving home on Route 30 in North Versailles from a gender reveal party. His children were in the car with him when he was murdered. His 10 year old son still had his neck brace on from the crash that followed. I love him. I miss him. I used to always, of course, see everybody, women on TV, talking about how their children were killed due to gun violence. And you hear it and you're sad. But now I'm wonderful. Police are still looking for one of his alleged killers, Eric Addison. They've already arrested Tyrone Freeman. As a mother prepares to bury her son, her focus shifts to justice. I, I really don't know how I'm going to go on without my son. The coaches we talked to tonight say one of the most difficult parts of Little John's murder was telling all of the young players he coaches that the man they saw day in and out was no longer going to be there. Lisa.